Oh, what's up, everybody? <laughs> what we have here is a 2000 and... I think it's an 11. It's an early Mark VI. With a substantial amount of modifications and a lot of gold wrap. It's pretty clean, actually. Minus, you know, these headlights need some TLC. And uh, if you had to guess, right here, four door for more whores. Here's the interior. You know, looking pretty straight there. LED tail lights, not messing around. 230,000 miles. I think I just read the odometer on this thing. Been working on his car for quite some time now. Done a lot of work on it. Unfortunately, I was out of the game for a little bit. As you know, I haven't been, I haven't been posting videos. Just haven't been doing much side work at all. It's a freaking mess in here already. I did the day one day at work. Um, been just, you know, focusing on my own stuff. And uh, so he got his, his mech replaced and now it does not shift so I'm clean up here. Uh, add a second gear so it goes first second it's weird is when you drive it i just drove it it just keeps trying to upshift so the the multi-function display you know on the instrument cluster says it'll go one two three four everybody drunk on the dance floor um, it'll start counting out, but it's not shifting gears and it's not throwing a malfunction either. So I'm gonna message him and ask him why he got the mech replaced. I just wanted to uh, double check, drop the mech myself and look at it and see if I could see anything obvious that maybe broke. It's almost like, it's weird. It's almost like the, you don't hear it, it shift. But it's almost like the forks are moving and it thinks it's in a different gear. I don't know on this car. I think with I think with the mech out you can reach you can I don't know if you can shift it. I know on the Mercedes you can reach it. They're right there. The little shift forks and you can see them all. I want to double check with the owner and see exactly what why he got the mech replaced. I thought he was just having issues with it kind of just not wanting to go in reverse. Uh, but now Nothing after second gear, so it's first, second, and that's it. And reverse, which is really weird. It's almost like something's broken. But I'm gonna message him, and then we'll get to see what's going on. Side note, he did take it to the dealer, and they said that you need a transmission. Uh, I think they quoted him. Looking here now, let's message me back right now. $8,000 for a full tranny. Tranny's replacement, did I say back or tranny? They said that he needs a whole new transmission. He's writing me back right now, seeing what he says. Still waiting. Dot, 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 dot. If you've seen Sonic 2, which I just watched with my kids. It's dot, dot, dot. Oh my goodness, well, I'm gonna pause this now. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, so yeah, he was driving on the freeway, ripping on it. And uh, um, guess it went into neutral. Then he was able to put it in. <laughs> it limped out or whatever. Then he went and was able to restart it and get first and second gear. They replaced the mechatronics. He gained reverse. Still only first and second. And I don't think the new mech is going to be the problem. If I had to guess, I'd have to look at the manual for a DSG. Not a manual, but a, the, the self-study program. It's gotta be either broken shift fork. It's gotta be a broken shift fork, right? It's still moving. It's still moving the rod. I think what's happening is maybe the rod, so there's magnets on your shift forks that go across these sensors that tell it what's gear in, what gear it's in. Although it has nothing after second. I don't really want to open the SSP. God damn it, I'm gonna have to look at it. I think maybe one of the, no, then you would still hear it. Maybe it's so quiet. I would think that maybe the fork part that shifts gears broke off from the rod and it's still moving and the magnets are still seeing that it's shifting gears. 
but it's not actually shifting gears. Let's go, I'm gonna go look at a self-study program. All right, <clears throat> going through this, first gear uses the K1 clutch, second gear uses the K2 clutch, but K, or sorry, third gear uses the K1 clutch. We know K1's good because it does first gear, because first gear uses the K1, so we know the clutches are fine. K2 uses second, sever, second, oh my god, K, second gear uses a different input shaft, same output shaft. So we know it's not uh, input shaft one because one rides first gear and two rides second gear. So three theoretically should be there unless all of the teeth are gone on, it that throws out my shift fork thing because first and third use the same fork, I believe. Um, if I look at the pictures here, I can see, I just typed in self-study program for the O2E or 02E. So we got first gear, uses that synchro, and then you come back and third gear should use uh, the same bottom synchro, yep. So first and third, sure, a lot similar, a lot of the same things. So it doesn't really make sense. Uh, I'm still looking through here. I gotta see what solenoids control what now, uh, looking up the mechatronics. So let's, I'll take a look. See, here's where I thought maybe, um, I can see here where maybe where it broke. See, I thought here, so you can see the magnet. That'll still see, that's the magnet on there for back and forth. And then there's this one for switch shifting. That's how the fork moves over. It supplies pressure down, moves the fork left, moves the fork right. So there would have to be like a problem here, not pushing the fork that way. Although it goes first, second, and then back to first. It just won't go up to third. So if you go up here, it tells you every solenoid responsible for shifting. Right, where was it? Let's see it right there. <clears throat> N90, third gear, but this is supposedly all new. So if you look up your N90 right there, that controls your shifting for that gear. So I don't know, I'm gonna do some more research here. I think I'm gonna end up pulling the mechatronics just because I'm interested. So you can see here first and third use the same fork. And then second and fourth use the same fork. So you think it'd be first, the second, third would be fine, and fourth, but I guess not. So, well, it looks like I'm pulling the mech anyways. You can go through here and it'll tell you, um, you know, if you have some fault codes with some sensors, blah, 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 what would the outcome be? So I'm not really sure. This is interesting. This is intriguing. Well, let's figure it out. Yeah. All right, so I got the old ratchet track strap, strap trick hooked up, pulling the engine backwards just so it gives you more space for the mech. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the drain plug out because I believe this fluid is relatively good and new, so I wanna save it. No matter what you do, you're gonna lose a bunch when you take the mech out. My eight mil long ball deep thingy here. <clears throat> He's draining that here. Uh, can we see that? There it is. So I did the two nuts holding the mech unit on the front of the motor. Let that drain for a minute as much as I can. Let the straw put the straw back in, and then I'll loosen the mech cover, which is up here. So I have the got a lot, lot of room here when I when you ratchet strap it. So I just put one hook on the front of the engine and one always the back brace in the middle of the car. Fluid level looks good. Got about I don't know got six quarts of fluid in here, five maybe. There's only so much you can drain out of these things. I'm gonna put this in here because it'll leak forever. What should my crappy thumbnail be? Just my eyeballs like this? <laughs> it's probably what it'll turn out being. All right, so let me take these T30s loose here. But what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna lose. Let me grab my T30. I'm gonna 
I spilt through it now. Even though I drained it, still didn't I? It just might be wide enough here. Got a little extension. Floating top of the neck cover, control, blah blah blah. It's too short. Remember I used to do a recall on these, you'd replace them with butt loads. Oh, my battery's gonna die, I'm with the camera. Okay, we used to replace these by the butt loads. And uh, I don't know where I'm getting at. Anyways, got all the bolts out. And then, so let's see, as soon as I pop this back a little bit, it's gonna, oh, it's not too bad. Getting the gasket off where it connects to the can be a real pain in the butt hole. I usually just put a pry bar or something at the top. I don't want to try to get this. Get to put a pry bar up here between the pan and the valve body a little bit and then smack the bottom and it rotates it off the top. Alright, I can't see anything so let me grab a light. Neck looks new, as suspected. Needs temp sensors in, plug in. New ones don't have this temp sensor at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take all the bolts out. With the lettering on it, the ones with the letters on it, at least as far as I can see here, are the ones that hold it in.
the car should have been in neutral it does not appear to be in neutral when I parked it uh, but it wasn't moving so it had to be <sighs> all right so I should be able to move these things a little oh I got a squirter Boring. All right, so here's where I'm at with this one. I'm pretty sure it's got a snapped gear inside. Looking at the, um, because I don't think the DSG knows that it has a snapped gear because it's still spinning the magnet ring. So anyway, so you got that's neutral here. It doesn't really spin the other wheel. So if I spin this wheel, the other wheel doesn't spin, but if I engage, this should be fifth and sixth down here. And then when I spin this wheel, oh, it spin the other wheel. This one, that's not doing anything. I can't get that gear, I can't get that one over. If I engage this one, that spins the other wheel. neutral not spinning the other wheel you can't see it but take my word for it okay this gear what do we got spinning the other wheel I can feel the load up on that one if I have to slide this over the other way I'm gonna definitely spin I think this is fifth and sixth uh, maybe not and then put that neutral nothing spins over there I should put this gear over and nothing it's spinning it but doesn't load up. That one kind of does. Back to neutral. I got nothing. And then back to this gear. I definitely got nothing. So I don't know what gear that is up there. This might be fifth or I can't remember which gear is directly above this one. Because the way they have the diagram is it's kind of like upside down. So I had to flip the image to get an accurate reading. Um, <clears throat> but this one definitely nothing. It's in gear right now. Should be in gear. <laughs> I can see it spinning the gear, but it's not sending it out to the wheels. <laughs> Nothing. So, pretty sure there's a gear snapped inside. But in neutral, same thing. So, I think this might be fifth or sixth up here. Um, one that's not shared with first and second. <clears throat> first and second shares a gear, first is its, I forget, first and something. I think first is its own deal. But the way the shaft works is a manual transmission. So you know, if you slide it over, then it slides it over, locks in that <coughs> shaft, then spins it one-to-one -one with that synchro, and then spins the wheels. But one of these, when I slide it over, does absolutely nothing. It doesn't send the power out. You can see it's spinning, but it must be, I think it's sheared off from inside. So it's not actually, it's spinning, but it's not engaging the gear and sending the power out. 
but it's weird that it doesn't go just in a neutral, um, which makes me kind of second guess myself that like, you know, I can slide this skinny gear over, let's see. See, I'm gonna slide that one over. I get absolutely nothing out to the other wheel. So, I think something sheared off in one of these gear sets here. If I go put this back over there, back to neutral, shift that one over, I get some power out to that wheel. And then if I shift this one, some power out to that wheel, shift it over this way, definitely power out to that wheel. And then if I, if I can reach in this one. I got nothing on that one. I don't know what gear that even is. Or if there's even one the other way. Definitely when I engage this one, I get that. That's a gear. It's really hard to figure out which one's which. Um, yeah, because the picture keeps throwing me off. But I'm pretty sure I'm one of the gears shared off inside there. And it's not letting it go past second gear. All right, now comes the annoying part. I'm just gonna throw it together so I can get it out of my garage. I was deciding if I wanted to push it out. I think I'm just going to make it drivable. I don't feel like pushing it. I'm too old for that. So I'm throw the mech back in, fill it up with the food I drained out, and uh, call it. Just want to update <clears throat> where I'm at with this GTI. Pulled the tranny. Here's the old one. Currently swapping over the mech unit. Here's the new transmission. Looks pretty clean compared to this one. There's that one. Here's what's going in. That's not good, but luckily we can transfer that <laughs> from the other one. Well, they turn on sick music next door, so. All right, yep, swapping the mechs.